Hi folks, today we're going to take a quick run through the Oaklawn Public Library website. There are two main ways to navigate the website, the search bar in the top right corner or the menu. It's important to note that the search will default to searching the catalog. So if you're looking for an author or title, just type in the name and hit search. If you want to search the website instead, just click the website option and then enter your search term. For example, if I want information about adult programs, I just click website, then type in adult programs and hit the enter key or click the search button. Once the results have appeared, I just click on the result that I need. To navigate back to the home screen at any time, just click on the Oakland Public Library logo at the top of the page. Now let's take a look at the menu and the rest of the main page. The menu has five main categories, browse and borrow, programs, using the library, research, and about. We'll go through these in more detail in just a moment. Directly beneath the menu will be banners advertising upcoming programs and services, then some featured categories, including the current newsletter. At the bottom of the page will be the library hours, the address and phone number, and quick links to the Ask a Librarian form, information about library cards, our privacy policy, and social media links. To the right side of the site, you'll see a window for chat reference. Click chat now to speak with a librarian or no thanks to close the window. A chat can always be started later by clicking the speech bubble icon. The chat function is available on each page of our website. Okay, let's scroll back up to the menu. To view the subcategories of each menu, simply hover over the different area name. Browse and Borrow contains links to our catalog, our adult and YA book recommendation blog, Book Nerds, the request an item form for items outside of our system, our Beyond Books collection, information about Wi-Fi hotspots available for checkout, and digital downloads, which includes links to our ebook and streaming media collections. Programs includes links to our calendar, information about our reading programs, such as the summer and winter reading program, adult programs with information on book clubs and some of our other recurring programs, teen volunteering includes the volunteer form for high school students, and then youth programs. Using the library is broken into three subcategories of teens and adults, kids, and general services. General services includes items such as meeting rooms, home delivery, information on fees and fines, library cards, and museum passes. Teens and adults include services available on the second floor in our adult and teen services and computer center units. Kids includes information for parents, teachers, and students in kindergarten through eighth grade. The research category includes A to Z resources, which is a list of all of our databases for teens and adults, a link to our local history collection, information on business resources, and a list of resources about employment and jobs. Finally, the About section has information about the library. Here you can find information about community partnerships and memberships, a contact form, and access to online copies of the newsletter. Inside OLPL, we'll provide links to information about the board, the Friends of the Library, FOIA requests, staff, and more. We hope you enjoy the new website. Don't hesitate to reach out via chat, the Ask a Librarian form, or by calling the Adult Services Desk if you have any questions. Check out the rest of our tech tutorial playlist for more videos.